Welcome back to Stamping at the Warren and today we are going to be doing a bit of watercolouring water colouring. Um, so I'm Kim Tolton and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Essex in the UK. Um, yes I am an Essex girl born and bred but um, most of the Essex girl accent has gone as I've got older. Um, so today we're doing a watercolour technique as I say and we are going to be using one of the new stamp sets so this is a sneak peek which is marquee messages and um, I am using all of the new in colours as well so it's a double sneak peek it's a sneak peek of the stamp set sneak peek of the ink pads as well so I'm going to tell you all the products that you need. Firstly, you're going to need an aqua painter. Um, you obviously can't get the stamp set until the 1st of June, but I, you know, I like to titillate you a little bit. Um, you then need a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock, which measures 30 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters and then you score through the middle there at 15 centimeters fold and burnish all of the sizes as usual will be on my website pop your card base to one side because we're going to be getting in a, a inky watery mess then you need oh, wrong one that's a different card then you need a piece of shimmery whisper white cardstock which measures 10 centimeters by 11 centimeters and a piece of cardstock that measures 10.4 centimeters by uh, by 11.4 yeah and that's in mint macaron and the mint macaron actually works really well with the new in colours so it's one of those new combinations that works well um, now you will also need, as I say you need your in colours ink pads the stamp set and that's pretty much it um, with your inks so let's get on now you're probably wondering why I'm not using watercolour paper the reason for not using watercolour paper and using shimmery white uh, paper is so long as you don't get this cardstock really soaking, absolutely sogging wet, it stands up really well. It's, it is a thicker, it's not as thick as the, actually it probably is almost as thick as the thicker whisper white cardstock, um, but for whatever reason the way that the shimmery cardstock is prepared and constructed it actually holds up really well to um, watercolour techniques do you know what I was just about to put glue all over the project oh that was naughty wasn't it that could have been really interesting so aqua painter what you have is a chamber that you fill with water and then you have a brush tip if it gets too wet and you just sort of wipe it off onto a piece of tissue or, or piece of scrap paper um, and if you want more water you just squeeze the chamber and drops of water will come out so the first thing to do is with this piece of cardstock is to put several drops of water on there and then just rub it all over the paper okay and that will just start to get the cardstock wet it is going to warp whilst it dries but don't worry about it so I'm going to start with Emerald Envy we're doing a sort of rainbow colour here so start at the bottom and what you'll see is it will because we've made the cardstock wet it's actually going on and diffusing really nicely then we're going with dapper denim my second most favorite 
after Flirty Flamingo. And then we blend, you want to blend this into the green a bit as well. So you're getting almost a multicoloured ombre effect. Then you want sweet sugar plum. And I'm just that just going to take some of that blue off on the paper here. And that one goes up here. And again, you're going to blend that down into the colour below. Then we're going flirty flamingo. And this one, I've run out of ink here. So you can either put a drop of reinker or you just squeeze the ink pad and that will transfer ink into the well there. So then you can pick up your colour and that can go on. I just think this colour is divine, I love it. And oh, got a bit of paper on there. No, go away. Right, so that's that one. And then finally, we've got Peekaboo Peach, another one that I really, really like. And that goes across the top and blend it down into the pink again. And that is your background. Simple but effective and these colours will change as they dry and as if by magic because you really don't want to sit here watching paint dry so by magic I have one I did earlier and there it is there you go that's the dry version and then there's the and you can see that the colours that the amount of colour that you've got in each section changes which means each each card is unique so we're going to work on this one now what I just want to do is very gently from both sides just flatten that out so it's easier to stamp you then want a really nice large acrylic block this stamp set comes, um, it's a single very large stamp, the marquee, and then you get a variety of sentiments that come with it. And the reason the cardstock is not square, the, the actual centerpiece, is because the stamp is not square, it, it's slightly... Um, asymmetrical so I find it easier to make this one to the right size and then the mat evens out um, there so you've got you've got a invited a sentiment a birthday sentiment awesome it's your and I appreciate everything you do and then you are um, no really you are so proud of you, so excited to see you. So some really fab little um, sentiments in there. Then you've got some star stamps of different styles. And this bit down the side here is going to be used in tomorrow's card in a completely different way. Um, and this is one of, not this particular one, but tomorrow's one. Um, is using the stamp in a way I used it in one of the items I made for the stampers board. Right, I'm using basic black. I know I'm using it on um, photopolymer. I've just decided that I'm happy for my ink, my stamp to be stained because I just don't want to use stays on, on the photopolymer and risk damaging the stamp set um, and it's since stamping up advises against using it um, so, and it's not using photopolymer They're, they do not advocate the use of um, stays on ink cleaner basically so you do need to 
give it a good inking and just test out you're getting a nice crisp image um, and then ink it up again. I just find even by just cleaning the stamp with um, stamping mist you just need to re-season the stamp. You do need this to be completely dry when you stamp onto it um, because it is just it just impacts if on the image um, and the overall effect if you don't. Right, so let's get this fairly central. Down it goes and give it a nice press, not over the top otherwise it distorts the image, but a nice press and off it comes. And there's your stamp. And we're going to put the It's Your Birthday. So it's your and birthday. Is that right? It's your yeah. I'm just gonna grab um my ink block. So I'm gonna start with the it's your and again because I'm using archival black I do like to make sure my image is coming out nice when you've done all that background work you really don't want to get a poor image you could always do it and then die cut or punch it punch it out and put it on that way and that would be lovely as well and obviously you can have this whichever way round you want it to be it's up to you So that's the it's your and then the birthday and the birthday is a real impact it's quite a chunky stamp so it really makes it stand out And I'm going to put that where there's space down the bottom here. And they do fit perfectly in between. There you have, it's your birthday. And you've got that fab multicoloured effect there. And next we just you just want to mat this down onto the mint macaron and I've used stamping dimensionals because it's quite flat at the moment and I do like my cards to pop and I think the easiest way of doing that is popping things up on stamping dimensionals And then this can go down on the card base and again stamping dimensionals just to make it really stand out on the front of that card. Don't know if I said but this is Bermuda Bay I've used here for the background for the card base. Um, and I love the way it is such a beautiful intense colour and it works incredibly well. Um, with these new in colours and I think that is partly down to the green um, because the Bermuda Bay has a similar sort of intensity of colour as the Bermuda Bay and that's where it sort of blends in together so just get your borders top and bottom fairly central there you go and then we're just going to decorate this using um, the gold wink of Stella and it is a super fine 
glitter glue and if you'll find that it's written here is a push so if you're finding that the ink isn't coming out very evenly then you probably just need to give a squeeze the way it says push and that will just push a bit more of the glitter glue through so I am going to do the stars This is where I go quiet and have my tongue hanging out. And I might be 53, but I still chew my lip and have my tongue hanging out when I'm doing detail work. And then a little dot of glitter glue. And I think the gold really helps to make this card pop. I don't often use the gold, I tend to use the clear on top of other colours. Um, but when I tried this card out, it just seemed to really work nicely and it gave a real, it's a bit like the um, lights in a circus tent and I think that is what this was intended to look like, this stamp set. I think it was intended to primarily simulate that feeling of being in a circus tent and to that purpose it has succeeded super for invitations dun, dun, dun. have I got everything yes I do there you go so it's just a very subtle hint of glitter glue and there you go and children would love to get involved in making the backgrounds it's a sort of thing you could sort of get the kids around the table big plastic sheet across the table and just let them get on with it and then once it's all dry you can do the stamping and then they can decorate with a bit of glitter glue what better way than them getting engaged in um, making their own invitations for their parties. Um, and I think for anybody's party, they would be super for that purpose. Anyway, that is today's project. Um, as always, all of my social media is in the show more section underneath today's uh, video, along with my contact details and my online store details so you can go over and have a browse and remember that products are still in the retiring bin and they will be until sold out or 1st of June arrives before um, but products are going incredibly quickly I've had quite a few customers that have been um, disappointed that they didn't get in in time to get their products that they really wanted um, and do join my community Pinterest board I don't mind if you're a demonstrator a hobby demonstrator or just a general paper crafter I just don't like um, digital paper crafting on the, on the page but it doesn't have to be stamping up I just like to engage everybody in coming together in a community of um, crafters who just enjoy stamping and making cards and scrapbook pages and project life layouts and all of that sort of thing and it's great for me to get to know people um, there will be a link directly from today's video on YouTube to my blog and if you go to the top right corner I don't know if I'm in the top right or if that's top right because my image is upside down when I tape but there's a little eye in the top right corner of the video if you click on there that is a link to my um, blog as well and it will link to today's video post um, and that's it if you want to ask questions leave comments or ask advice or anything at all um, related and just give me a buzz or just say hi I don't mind I like getting to know you all that's it for today thanks for watching ta-ta for now